In question 10b part 2 here they have it stated the line TA represents a vertical lighthouse and here we have our vertical line TA that's the lighthouse and here again they state they, state, they have it stated here that the angle of elevation of T from B is 23 degrees okay so the angle of elevation of T from the point B is 23 degrees okay now in part A they, they, have, they have it stated here in your answer booklet draw the triangle TAB showing the angle of elevation now please note a very important um, note in class some students may s um, ha have said to me over time that um, when they're asked to draw when they're asked to draw something in the exam sometimes they do it on the exam sheet now if the question states or if the instruction states rather that you should do it in the answer booklet or an, or an answer sheet you should look for that answer sheet in the exam don't waste time doing it on the exam sheet okay my friends um, please look for the answer sheet if you can't find the answer sheet or the answer booklet please raise your hands in the exam and ask the invigilator for one okay because that's what the exam and the markers are going to check your answers for okay now pretty much let's get into this that's an important note let's move now they're asking us to draw the triangle uh, TAB okay TAB so let's quickly look at that now if you notice we have T oops my bad T A B okay so all I'm simply going to do is to connect T to B okay so pretty much that's it okay now if you notice I have my triangle T A B and it would look like this it's a vertical it's standing up okay that triangle okay the triangle A B C would be lying flat on the horizontal plane while the triangle T A B would be a vertical one they have stated that they would want us to identify our angle of elevation so let's quickly put that in now if you note, my friends they said that the angle of elevation of and let me just make a quick note here okay the angle of elevation of T from B now wherever wherever the from is at okay they said from B so it's at the point B that we should label or 23 degrees sorry about that sorry about that okay so this angle here is our 23 degrees okay my friends pretty much that easy so um, let's just switch board to show you how your diagram would look now let me just get this quickly okay so here we have it my friends so this is how your diagram would look on the answer booklet okay so a b would be 174 and let me just switch back boards just to show you so that you you have a clear view as what is happening if you notice a b in the initial drawing when they gave us the triangle a b c if you notice they had given us this line segment a b was 174 so this would be at the base okay and then we would have our angle there okay so you could always pause the video look at it i am going to just switch back boards now um so that's an easy two marks drawing the triangle tab showing the angle of elevation this would be two marks so let's now just get into some calculations on my friends here they're asking us to calculate the height uh, ta of the lighthouse okay so this height here i'm just going to label it x okay t to a now if you notice my friends um we have the angle here at b the angle t a b is 23 degrees they gave us the line segment a to b okay which is 174 meters and they're asking us to find t a now we can use since this is a right angle triangle because a vertical line meets a horizontal line at a 90 degree angle okay my friends so this is a right angle triangle so therefore since we have an angle and a side we could use the trig ratio to find the vertical ta the vertical length ta here okay which i've labeled x now if i if i'm standing at the angle and i've always say when using trig ratios always position at the angle that is given or the angle that they're asking you to find okay in this case they gave us the angle 23 degrees so we're going to stand at that angle now what i'm asking myself what is the relationship that the side that they're asking me to find has with the angle that i'm standing if you notice this side the side ta that they're asking us to find is across from the angle okay so since it's across I am going to simply say it is 
this side is the opposite side. So once the side is across from where you're standing, it's the opposite side. Now, again, um, I'm going to look at the side that was given. And the side that was given, AB, which is 174, it is exactly beside the angle that is given. Now, since that is beside the angle, then I'm going to call this the adjacent because another word for beside is adjacent. Okay, my friends? Now, simply, I am looking at these two relationships, opposite and adjacent, and I am asking myself, what trig ratio is popping out at me? And obviously, that would be the tan ratio okay because tan theta tan theta is equal to the opposite the opposite side over the adjacent okay so evidently in this case i would have to use the tan ratio to find the length of ta the vertical of the vertical lighthouse now my friends I'm just simply going to substitute. I'm just going to say tan, and I'm, theta represents the angle, which is 23 degrees that they gave us, is equal to the opposite side, and I'm going to call it TA, okay, um, all over the adjacent side, which is 174, 174, okay? Now, my friends, I need to make TA the subject, okay? I am solving for TA. I need to find the length of TA, so I have to make that the subject. Now, if you notice, 174 is multiplying, is dividing, rather, TA, so I have to do the opposite of division, which is multiplication, to make TA the subject. So I'm, I, I'm going to have to multiply both sides of my equation by 174. So basically, I'm saying 174 multiplied by tan 23, 23, which is equal to TA over 174 multiplied by 174 okay if you notice i have multiplied both sides of my equation by 174 now that 174 will cancel out with that 174 okay my friends that's 174 over 1 so both cancels out now uh, what i have left over here is 174 tan multiplied by tan 23 tan 23 is equal to t a. Okay, now I have TA my subject. So I can simply say it is 0 0.24448. Okay, that's tan 23. And I'm multiplying that by 174. And that is equal to TA. Okay, guys. Now, pretty much, if I should multiply out this with 174, my answer TA, TA is equal to uh let's see now um 73.859 meters now given the fact that they are using whole numbers here um if you notice they are using whole numbers i'm just going to round off mine to the nearest whole number okay so my rounded off to the nearest whole number i would have ta ta this is a a is equal to 74 meters okay so ta here my friends this length is 74 meters okay pretty much um feel free to leave a comment on our website if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and our website is willedutech.com